So, Tom, tell me about your experience. You rode in the Tesla. So what what was it like for you? It, it was analogous to riding in a New York taxi. I had that same kind of <laughs> attitude. And, and what I mean by that is okay, I've ridden with Mark sure. in all kinds of different varying situations for, over for, for more years than for, we care for, to that's talk about for you know yeah, 50 you years right so <laughs> so i have a i have a high level of trust for mark and sure. his driving but as soon as he told me that the car really was in total command of what we were doing i had to re- realign that trust and it was a lot like it was a lot like when you climb in a taxi there you are in atlanta leaving the marriott in a taxi and uh you don't know the taxi driver you just have to trust that well it somebody has has looked into this and developed this situation and it's got to be pretty safe but you right. always have that little thought in the back of your mind you you don't have a total level of comfort so when the car <laughs> would do things that i didn't expect what i mean right is the way mike you drive a curve and the yeah. way i drive a curve oh yeah we hug the left side Right. This car doesn't do that. It drives dead center of the lane. That's what it does. And it's reading the sides of the lane to stay dead center. So when That's you interesting when thought. you actually yes. viscerally expect it to do something, it doesn't do it. It's doing it on its own way in in really in a way that's safer and more appropriate. But uh, at the same time, you're you're used to what you're used to. You're used to your own driving, the driving of your friends, your spouse, whatever. Well, then, and it then, doesn't do that. Well, the, uh, there's this race car idea. We've all watched NASCAR and all the other races and so forth. So you hug that inner inner line there. Yeah. Uh, and also, if you're in the center and you, in it, according to speed, you're probably going to have to shift. You're going to you're going to see the your shift of gravity kind of going in a different direction than you well, used I told, to. Well, so I told I told Mark I didn't have to go to the gym and do an ab workout because <laughs> I was my core was tense the whole time, you know, for various <laughs> reasons, and uh, and uh, you know it depended on what the car was doing or what Mark was doing, but right. but all in all. You, you know, you and I had that discussion ahead of time, and I had told you I just wasn't into a self-driving car and went, didn't really want to ride in one. I think, well, I think actually what you said was, I'll follow behind you guys. Yeah, and, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just to make sure. I, I think so, yeah. And, and, and really, uh, I, I got used to it really quickly. And, wow. and, and really the mindset is it's, it's very well augmented human driving in other words right. it's not an automatic really car i mean you uh, when it gets confused it turns it back over to you but there are things that you would think would confuse it the 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 two things that blew me away okay. of, of everything right. Here we one go. was uh when you have construction you have road barrels all oh, right it right, loves right. road barrels <laughs> it loves it's road better barrels. on road barrels than it i would ever them. be it can see them when you you get right. confused by them the the human brain gets confused oh, right. come up on a construction site or something like that the car doesn't get confused by barrels it hey. just sees them <laughs> and and, and <laughs> there's another thing that that brings up when i first got the car delivered right it didn't show road barrels and i got a software update that just happened overnight like okay. two days after I got the car, All right. that was Elon Musk's latest software update. That's their their move to have full autonomous driving. Right, that's that's where they're going. Right. And and driving around town with traffic lights because right now the autopilot is pretty much on the interstate or a highway or something. Right. So I got in the car the next day. And all of a sudden, it's showing me when I pull up to a stop sign. It shows the stop sign on the screen. It's showing. The traffic lights and it shows whether they're green or red or flashing yellow right and it shows uh like like you were saying it shows cones on the side of the road when you're when you have construction cones and so that recognition on the part of the automobile to be able to detect and understand all these signs on the road is part of getting to where you can have that car drive itself around town. I mean, that's that's where it's going, right? Mm-hmm. That's um, supposedly they are. Uh, so, so going to have it this year. But a I don't know. software update in the future is it will that be full autonomous at this point? I mean, According you're to Elon call? Musk. Okay, well, I'll go with what Elon says, and you know that he's the car's got the capability. He's claiming he's going to get it 
in 2020. I don't know. But I'm just thinking, is is quick. your car ready for that? Everything that needs uh, supposedly your car. the car I have has the all the hardware to do it, and okay. all I need is a software. Software update. So here's the other thing. You know, thing. I skip those software updates a lot on Windows PCs that I have. You know, I don't Tom, think you do it on know. your car. I don't think I'm, I'm going to skip any of those on the, on the car for the, sure. The, the other thing that was really that was a surprise for me is the car has a rear view camera that you can use in lieu of your rear view mirror. And okay. So it okay. shows you see yourself moving rear, rear in the rear real time okay. and it cuts out all the blind spots and it fills the screen like your like your tablet there right. but the thing about it is if you're not used to seeing that view it is tremendously disorienting because you're yes. moving fast yeah, that's in motion. See, in I, motion. I have the backup camera in my truck, right? I turn yeah. that thing. And it's, it only, kin, it's only akin to that. But it only is, is in reverse when you're moving slow. So you're talking about actually you're moving driving forward, forward and at 65. If you're at 65, it is tremendously disorienting yes. because you're – you're seeing you, the road go by under you're the car. Seeing, right. You're seeing the rear. You're seeing the rear, and you're seeing the front. And really, it's a brain thing. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, it's like any other instrumentation. You'll your brain will adapt. But at first, it is for me when Mark demons he said, "Look at this. Look at this rear view." And I was like, "Man, I'm getting nauseous." I don't think I can. Look yeah, it was at just it. strange. Right, right, but right. but but I think you adapt to it pretty quickly. You know. Well, it's just it's another uh, addition uh, to your driving that will probably make things safer for you well, in well, lots it, of ways, it does, right? If, if you're in a situation where you're going to be changing lanes on your own, mm -hmm. um, the thing about it is it's a much higher resolution camera than the backup camera on your truck. Right. So it's a crystal clear picture. And like Tom said, it covers your blind spots. So if this guy's here, you can't see him in your side mirror. You can't see him in your little regular rear That's view mirror. That's a terrible can, thing, too. You by can the way, see him in that cam in that rear view camera. He's sitting right there. You can see him right there. That the the blind spot. I don't know if we're ever going to fix that, but this is getting close to making oh, it's, sure, right? It's got, and and other than that, just the regular display that's always up right. is showing a graphical representation of your lane markers and every car around you. So you can see the guys in your blind spot on that as well. Oh, okay. All right. All right. That's good. Because I, 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 I have to admit, there was um, maybe a week or so back, I tried to, I was going to pull in this lane next to me, and there was a car right in that blind spot. And mm -hmm. I've got two mirrors yeah. on the side, right? I yeah. still couldn't see them. Couldn't see them, yeah. That is interesting. Right.